collision between Mirko Krokop and Mark Hunt. So here is the bonus machine, the longtime heavyweight staple, the Super Samoan Mark Hunt. He's a powerful rhythmic striker, king of the walk-off knockout. You remember the fight with Bigfoot Silva in Brisbane back in 2013, still ubiquitously regarded as the greatest heavyweight fight in UFC history. Mark Hunt back under the bright lights tonight. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl. And if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. So here he is, the legend Mirko Krokop. And I think for a lot of mixed martial arts fans, when they think of head kick knockouts, the first guy to come to mind is that man, Krokop, former Pride World Open Weight Grand Prix champion. And when it comes to the big promotions, UFC Pride, WEC, and Strike Force, no man has more finishes than the fighter you are staring at right now, the ageless Mirko Krokop Filipovic. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight more than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Mark Super Samoa! Oh! And now he comes his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, Weighing in at 220 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Spoka! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Fight. Here we go. So here he is, the fan favorite, Mark Hunt, still going strong. We'll see how it goes here early in round one. This is a man who has worked very hard on his conditioning. So if we do hit the latter rounds, expect Hunt to be stronger than normal. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh! He got hurt very, very badly. Oh, oh big good left hand. Shot there, lands flush. Man. Oh, we got to oh. oh. Man, has his chin been tested early. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Closing the distance here. Oh, he's stunned again. fighter. Composure. Knew he heard him, and he's taking his time. 
Yeah, Joe, that was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Going the winner by knockout, Mirko Kokop. So Mirko Krokop still getting it done and still getting it done with style points. A lot of people wondered how would he handle this type of matchup. He handled it with flying colors here tonight. And Mirko Krokop still very much a relevant contender in one of the UFC's deepest divisions.